It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 10th of February. I'm James Spann. Feels so nice outside today, but colder air begins to creep in here Friday. The weekend will be noticeably colder, but for now, we see no chance of ice for most of Alabama through the weekend. But what about next week? Uh, a lot of questions on the board. Let's see if we can find some answers. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country. Very familiar look there. We've got the polar vortex over Canada. And underneath that, a very active southern branch of the jet stream, pushing waves through from time to time. But today we're in between waves. And look at that. That's the visible satellite view. It's bright and sunny over north and west Alabama. Some clouds down to the south. In fact, some thunderstorms rumbling near the Gulf Coast this afternoon. And yes, indeed, we've got some low 70s on the board today. Anniston, Tuscaloosa, Utah, 72. Demopolis and Centerville, 73. We'll take that all day for the 10th of February. But again, the cold air just not that far away. Memphis at 35. And not that far away, we're going to have some major icing problems. There is an ice storm warning in effect from Arkansas into Kentucky. This includes Little Rock, Memphis, up toward Lexington. Uh, there's going to be a lot of ice there, enough to create some major travel impact and power outages. Winter weather advisories all the way from Dallas-Fort Worth to the southern part of New Jersey. There's a closer look at the ice storm warning. The county's there in the shades of maroon. And if you're traveling north, be aware travel can become very difficult, if not impossible, in spots there tonight and tomorrow. In terms of severe weather, not expecting any severe storms through tonight. That's the day one severe weather outlook. There may be a few thunderstorms in spots late tonight, but no severe weather. This is tomorrow. Again, maybe some thunder, nothing severe. And on day three, Friday, a chance of scattered thunderstorms over the southern half of the state. Rain for the next seven days. The southeast, pretty wet. Rain amounts for the state between one and a half and two and a half inches between now and Wednesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at three. Cold vortex over Canada. Had a pretty impressive trough out of Mexico. And for us, we're expecting increasing rain tomorrow. Periods of rain, maybe some thunder, nothing severe. High will be close to 60 if you're in the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures could fall in the 40s. And again, you can see the icing developing through parts of west and middle Tennessee and extreme northwest Mississippi. Uh, this is the projected ice accumulation from the three-kilometer NAM. And you can see some spots maybe getting up to almost a half inch of ice, and that is a very crippling ice storm. And again, uh, some of the heaviest ice in modeling here, uh, including Memphis, up into parts of Kentucky, around Bowling Green. So this is Friday, uh, cloudy. The day will be colder. I think we'll see uh, highs in the 40s for the northern half of the state. And there could be some light rain, especially for the southern two-thirds of Alabama, nothing too heavy. Now, this is late Friday night, early Saturday morning. This is 3 a.m. Saturday off the GFS. And again, you can see just maybe the window is open for a bit of freezing rain for the northwestern corner of the state. But the reliable European is warmer in its thermal value, suggesting just a cold rain. And that's what we're basing our forecast on here. So rain will likely increase again Friday night. But still, we'll be watching that northwestern corner of the state for any freezing rain. It's a close call. And then Saturday by 3 3 o'clock, it's all gone. So rain likely Friday night into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon should be dry and again cold with highs in the 40s. The sky will stay cloudy. This is Sunday. We're dry. I'd say the high 45 to 50. Next wave off to the west. This is Monday. You can see a messy situation if this verifies a lot of sleet. The area is in orange there. Louisiana, western Mississippi, parts of west Tennessee. And this is Monday night at midnight. Uh, the GFS depicting a surface low just east of Chattanooga with a chance of freezing rain on the backside of that through parts of north and northwest Alabama. And this is the European, somewhat similar. Again, this is midnight Monday night. So uh, clearly a good chance of rain Monday night of next week. And there might be a window where on the backside of the departing system, there could be a brief change over to freezing rain or maybe a few snowflakes. But again, it's simply too early to call. Uh, there's so many issues to get through before we get to that, uh, but we'll be watching trends. And then this is the daytime Tuesday, Tuesday at 3. All of that is long gone. Here's a week from today, Wednesday the 17th, troughing off to the west, and again, we're cold and dry. Now, this is Thursday of next week, the 18th. And again, the GFS putting down snow and freezing rain. It's done this over and over and over 
And basically, none of this is verified. So I would not exactly take that to the bank, but still, we'll be watching, of course. European shows rain on Thursday with no icing issues, and that's probably more like it. And this is out 10 days, Saturday the 20th, troughing off to the east, and we're cold and dry. This is the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Many of the members show a little light snow, but those, remember, colors of gray in the members, that's very light snow. In most cases, probably nothing more than flurries. The bottom line is we're not too worried about snow here. If we have any winter weather issues, it would be freezing rain. Speaking of rain, rain for Birmingham, the mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 25th of February. And again, this product has done pretty good, the National Blend of Models. And you can see we got highs in the 40s. Saturday, Sunday, then again Tuesday, lows in the 30s, maybe upper 20s, but uh, the really, really cold Arctic air stays north of Alabama, if this verifies, and we think it will. And hot off the presses, the brand new CPC outlook. This is for the 18th through the 24th of February. Temperatures once again below average for much of the United States, if this verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.